I'm Linda Elsiegood, founder of the LDN Research Trust. It has been my honour to interview LDN researchers, prescribers, pharmacists and patients from around the world for many conditions. Thank you for joining us. Today we have Jeanette with us from New Zealand and Jeanette takes LDN for Myasthenia Gravis. Thank you for joining us, Jeanette. Thank you. Could you tell us how old you were when you first started to notice symptoms? Well, what what I happened to me was that um, I had a very bad a frozen shoulder and I ended up going to a, an orthopedic surgeon who actually uh, put a steroid injection, a corticosteroid injection in my shoulder. I had two of them and the second one I had such a severe reaction to it that, you know, it just felt like um, I'd been run over by a train and I actually couldn't get out of bed for about nine days afterwards. Wow. And and as a consequence of that, um, the biggest thing that started at that time, my symptoms, was my vision. It just felt uh, I had double vision. I felt that I couldn't balance properly. Everything was, you know, sort of out of, um, con- you know, sort of wasn't right. It was just um, felt like I'd been, I was in a bubble most of the time. And then slowly over time, um, I started losing the use of my muscles, um, my speech, swallowing, uh, especially my big muscles, trying to walk, trying to hold a pen, trying to do anything. And originally my doctor thought I just had chronic fatigue. Um, oh, and, and I've, you know, from the time of the injection, I had really, really severe t- fatigue, which to a point that um, I had to stop working um, and I was sleeping between probably 8 to 16 hours a day at that time. Mm-hmm. And um, then I went, uh, my GP, because I wasn't improving, he said, oh, well, I think you've actually got this other condition because my gravis is, is diagnosed because you start to move the muscles or use the muscles like cleaning a window and your muscles actually after about 30 seconds stops working and that's because the uh, muscle becomes fatigued and the signals from the brain to the muscles stop working. It's, they're blocked. Mm-hmm. So when I, you know, when I got diagnosed from my GP, um, I started taking mestanon, which helps to keep the signals open and stop the, from the, the because what myasthenia is, it's it's uh, your body creates an antibody against the acetylcholine, uh, and and it stops those signals from from the brain getting to the muscles. And what myasthenia does, it, it increases, helps the signal to be relayed from from your brains to the muscles. And I was had a good response from that. Um, it took me another three years to get a com- confirmed diagnosis from the um, neurologist in New Zealand uh, because they really, my gravis is so very rare that they actually didn't know how to actually test for it properly. And um, so in 2007, I had... Uh, as part of the treatment, I had my thymus removed, which they actually open your chest up and remove, remove the thymus gland, which is part of your immune system. And um, from that time, really, I started to... My fatigue and everything else got certainly a lot better. Um, from taking 11 mestadone tablets down to four and my ability to walk, do everything, my fatigue was better, but... I've always, always struggled. My biggest problem still, even after having the thymus removed, is my ability to exercise. Um, my fatigue levels have, you know, they, they're certainly not normal, have never been normal from from, uh, from 1998. And um, so, you know, to just try and work, it's been a struggle because I'm... Um, I, I'm an, a, an advocate, and I talk a lot, and I write a lot. So, and I've really, really struggled. And trying to just think of words sometimes it's just been impossible. And then after a while, I start to get drunk, and I sound like I'm, you know, you know, sort of because I start slurring my words and things like that. So, that's those symptoms have have continued, but not as bad. 
and then I started um, taking LDN last year. Uh, I took initially, I started on two milligrams, and I didn't sort of feel that I was getting any, any success for it. But uh, I persevered, and I this this year um, I got another prescription. I went up to um, three milligrams, and I got that uh, prescription through my GP, and I've got I got the LDN from the compounding chemist in. Uh, uh, on the Gold Coast. The biggest um, advantage I can see from taking low dose naltrexone is my fatigue's virtually gone. Absolutely, I, I can say that I don't suffer with fatigue anymore. Uh, my the fog in my brain is lifted. I can remember things much better. I can speak better. I can recall information a lot, lot better. My whole cognitive function and my ability to think has certainly improved mm -hmm. um, and you know would I stop taking it? No, I don't think so because I also think what what it also does is it supports my medication, I don't feel like I have to take it as often as enough, it actually makes it work better um, and other than that, you know, sort of um, I just feel better in myself the only the only um, side effect that I'm getting from it, which everybody seems to suffer with, is the vivid dream. So I do take mine normally about 12 o'clock. I've tried to take it in the morning, but I don't sort of feel very, you know, by the afternoon I feel a little bit shaky and things like that. So I take it about 12 o'clock, um, mm -hmm. and I don't have any problems sleeping. So it's really, really has been very. I've had a very good response from it. That's amazing. Do you know many people in Aust uh, in New Zealand? Are they taking LDN? I don't know. I've, well, the good thing is, all right, which I think is, you know, I, I've just had a phone call from a surgeon last week who's actually been diagnosed with myasthenia gravis. I have sent him the information about LDN. Now, I know if we get somebody in the prof medical profession in New Zealand who's got an autoimmune disease, uh, disorder and he starts taking it and I know that he will get an improvement from it um, you know it might really start to take off but we need um, there there isn't a lot of doctors that are prescribed in New Zealand because they don't really know about it mm. I don't think well we'll have to work on changing that won't we <laughs> yes yes well I'm trying to, to, to do my best on Facebook and you know, and telling anyone, because I deal, I'm in the health industry, anyone who comes and sees me now, who've got, it's got chronic fatigue, uh, certainly I, I tell them that, you know, you should try this particular drug. The other thing that I need to tell you too is that I had a whiplash injury in 2007 and for probably the last four or five years I've had an awful pain in my the side of my neck. It's just like the muscle had been stretched beyond and I've, Relief, and I've had every day. I would wake up with with this horrible stiff neck, painful neck, and nothing really shifted it. Well, two months into taking the mestin on this time at the three milligrams, the pain just vanished. Mhm. Mm so, does it work for chronic pain? I suspect so. You know, of of a muscle type as well, because. I can't explain it. The, the, the muscle that that was, um, you know, sort of annoyed at that time certainly it responded very well to to the low low dose naltrexone. Wonderful, that is wonderful. Well, maybe we can interview you again after you've been on it a little bit longer. Yeah, that would be good. But no, I I just can't speak highly of it enough. I just. You know, like I said, I just feel so well in myself. I wake up in the morning and I'm not, you know, before taking it, I'd wake up and I still felt like I hadn't had a sleep. You know, whereas I don't get that feeling now. I get up and I'm ready to go, you know, and that's that, that's what I used to be like before I, you know, sort of um, was diagnosed with my sinning gravis. I was very, very active and, and I was recently in Australia um, on the Gold Coast and that particular week, um, I walked about 50 k's, 
you know, and that's what naltrexone has done for me. It's improved my ability to walk and get around. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. It is. I I thank the researchers and the trust and all the rest of it for for actually um, you know sort of pushing it and keep on getting it out there. But I think Facebook and and it has been absolutely marvellous for, for you'll be surprised how many people actually you know look at Facebook and it's just been a great medium for us all. It is it certainly is it certainly gets the word out around the world a lot easier. The world becomes <laughs> smaller, doesn't it? Yeah, and I said if you know if. If you wanted to hold a conference in New Zealand and Australia, uh, I would certainly support you and try and do my best to, you know, sort of make it happen. Mm. We'll we'll discuss that later. But thank you <laughs> very much for sharing your experience with us. Not a problem. Do you have LDN experience to share? If so, please email me. Linda at ldnrt.org. I look forward to hearing from you.